Pacific time off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. The recovery personnel are continuing to step through procedures uh, to hoist Dragon onto the recovery vessel, vessel Megan there, which is now coming into view. You can see just how close Megan is at this point. And that's that helicopter uh, pad that Jaden was just discussing where um, the crew will fly off of uh, onto the coast of Florida and then eventually um, they'll, they'll fly back to Houston. Just underneath that helicopter pad is that translation deck uh, where we will see the nest once it is loaded up with the Dragon spacecraft uh, on board. The nest will be translated to the forward end of the recovery vessel and that is where our Crew-9 uh, team members will egress from the Dragon spacecraft. Now here on your screen we can see uh, dolphins actually <laughs> who want to come and play with, uh, with Dragon. Now one of the fast boats there in place working to assist the recovery team member. It's incredible. I just love these, these views. We really see them even better in daytime, but just seeing the recovery team work in tandem to uh, step through each step, uh, or excuse me, to step through each operation. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously they're, they're getting quick assists from the honorary part of the recovery team, those dolphins <laughs> uh, in the water there. Now the, the, Recovery crew mem team member that is crawling around the Dragon spacecraft. Uh, earlier we saw a view where it was like a spider monkey pose. Um, we can see that individual now standing in the bucket where the main parachutes were stored while Dragon was on orbit. Obviously those main parachutes were utilized for splashdown today. Uh, they were deployed and cut from the Dragon capsule. Uh, and one of the fast boats, in the, uh, one of the other fast boats of the recovery team working to pull those out of the water. Now the recovery team member that is there working on top of the Dragon capsule. Earlier we saw that person performing safety checks. Now we can see some harnessing being placed around the capsule. This harnessing is what will be used to lift the Dragon capsule out of the water and onto the recovery vessel. Wow, we got a cute little pod of dolphins. It wasn't just one or two. <laughs> I mean, that water just looks beautiful. We had ideal uh, splashdown parameters today. Obviously, wave height, near a concern. Um, the weather is beautiful, as Jaden mentioned, in the 60s, sunny. Looking forward to seeing Crew 9 exit the capsule here shortly once they get hoisted onto the recovery vessel, Megan. We can see that recovery vessel slowly but surely closing the distance there between, oh, Dolphin Cam back again. <laughs> Uh, we can we can see uh, that the Dragon capsule and the recovery vessel, that distance is closing. Again, this is just one more step as we continue to work recovery operations for Dragon Freedom. Uh, and we anticipate uh, the lift of the Dragon capsule to occur here in just a few minutes. Now, once uh, all of the rigging is on the capsule and it's hooked up to the recovery vessel, we will see the hydraulic arm, which is that kind of like bridge-like structure there at the aft end of the recovery vessel. We'll see that articulate backwards, and um, that's a good sign that we're, we're getting even closer to pulling the capsule out of the water. It will then uh, move forward, and uh, the capsule will be placed inside of what you can see there is basically a basket. We call it the nest, uh, dragon nest, where that's where the capsule will will be placed uh, in order for it to be translated to the forward end of the of the vessel and for the astronauts to egress. And before that does pl take place, we'll have uh, potentially views of the rigger uh, go ahead and jump off of the spacecraft there. That typically occurs when the spacecraft is a little bit closer to the recovery vessel, and we usually get a really good view of that uh, particular operation from one of the onboard cameras from the recovery vessel. That is uh, an operation that I, I have a lot of respect and admiration <laughs> for that individual that, uh, that does that. So again, Dragon continuing to get closer and closer to the recovery vessel, Megan. You see some of those uh, ropes now uh, coming into view as well. 
you are just joining us, Crew 9 splashed down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida at 2.57 p.m. Pacific time with NASA astronauts Nick Haig, Butch Wilmore, Sonny Williams, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov. They're now working through procedures uh, to hoist this, this spacecraft up onto the recovery vessel Megan. We just saw that hydraulic arm get lowered into the lifting position. That arm will be the mechanism that is utilized to lift Dragon up and out of the water and into the, uh, the nest located there at the aft end of the recovery vessel. And the recovery vessel being used today is, um, as we mentioned multiple times, is named Megan, but that's actually after NASA astronaut Megan MacArthur, who flew on Crew 2 a couple of years ago. We're getting some views now from actually on so inside the boat. Yeah, Drag you're exactly right. Uh, this view is uh, straight down the recovery vessel. Uh, that platform that was closest to the camera, that is the egress platform. Freedom. Rigging is almost complete. Approximately five minutes until capsule list. Great news there from SpaceX 4. So about five minutes left until we see Dragon Freedom get lifted out of the water. That hydraulic arm, as I said before, is the mechanism that will lift it. Uh, it's it's quite swift, actually. The the whole process of getting the, the spacecraft brace for capsule lift. Bracing. There it goes. Dragon Freedom being lifted out of the water and onto our recovery vessel, Megan. So once securely on... Uh... Welcome aboard the recovery vessel. Recovery personnel are completing final checks and stand by for translation to the egress platform. Freedom copies. Great news there, letting us know that Dragon Freedom has been successfully recovered from the water's surface. If you've just joined us, we had an on-time splashdown at 5.57 p.m. Eastern Time, and we can now see that the uh, water recovery operations uh, are continuing to progress. The nest where the Dragon spacecraft is located is going to um, get moved forward. This will happen after one of the recovery crew members uh, does some checks and uh, we'll also see some hosing. Obviously, the spacecraft splashed down in salt water. Salt water is corrosive and we want to try and rinse out as much of the salt water as possible to reduce that corrosion uh, on the metallic structures. So we can see some guidance there being provided, really steering the spacecraft uh, properly into the dragon's nest. And it's been 30 minutes since Dragon splashed down. And as you can see there, the spacecraft is already on board the recovery vessel Megan. Things continuing to move very smoothly today throughout the entire operations from the deorbit burn um, up until this point as well. And Freedom, it looks like the positioning wasn't quite right. So they are working on repositioning the capsule in the nest now. Okay, copy that. Thanks. And with that, the team is just going to adjust uh, the Dragon spacecraft a bit so that it's in the right position ahead of translating up a little bit closer ahead of the side hatch. So the team is now going to step through the procedures to uh, ensure that that takes place. While Dragon does fly itself autonomously, it clearly is unable to park itself autonomously. We want to make sure that the Dragon capsule is properly seated there in that nest.
Once the once dragon is fully seated in the nest, we'll probably see a bunch of that salt water come out from the bucket there located underneath the the, the side hatch. See some salt water splash out. As I mentioned before, one of the recovery team members will begin uh, hosing down the exterior of the spacecraft. So you are continuing to get some great live views on your screen of Crew 9, which includes NASA astronauts Nick Haig, Sonny Williams, Butch Wilmore, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander uh, Gorbanov, who splashed down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida, 2.57 p.m. Pacific time this afternoon. Now working to uh, get that spacecraft uh, situated in the nest. Just making some final adjustments and tweaks to ensure that it's nice and secure. Once the spacecraft is uh, seated and secured and oriented correctly in the nest, Dragon will be moved uh, into the hangar located underneath that helipad that we saw earlier from the aerial views during recovery. All right, Freedom, looks like you are settled into the nest now. Team is working through hypergol sweeps. Call out there telling us that the recovery team is doing the second round of those hypergolic sweeps. This helps ensure that everyone, all the recovery team members that are located basically right where this camera is located on, you know, towards the forward end of the recovery vessel, that they will all be safe uh, once, the, once the spacecraft is translated forward. So we're just doing some additional steps to make sure that the hypergolic propellant that is utilized for maneuvering the Dragon capsule while on orbit, making sure that none of those vapors uh, are, are, are still present on the exterior of the capsule. That's right, and there are a variety of individuals on board the boat that help with recovery operations. Not only do we have the recovery personnel that you see here, but we also have a uh, doctor that will check out the crew members as standard procedure.